You hear about this Green River Killer? Oh uh, no. <laughs> no, tell us. Who's that? Well, it's crazy. How many did he kill? <laughs> he killed my wife. <laughs> oh! <laughs> thank you. My time is up here. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> 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 Continuing tonight on two C's in a pod. 96.7 on your Two C's in a pod, 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 two C's just like two C's in a pod, two C's just like two C's in a pod, two C's just like two C's in a pod, two C's in a pod at gmail.com. Welcome to episode 29, the corporate retreat episode where Cam and Cam hold all their employees, uh, force them away for a weekend so that we can get drunk and we can make them cook our food. Uh, always hosting your show here is Cam LeClaire on your uh, left earphone, and on the right earphone you'll hear... Uh, my name is Cameron Osborne. We're trying this new thing here. Uh, uh, we're podcasting in stereo. You know, I think it was a big moment. Uh, the, the Beatles did stereo, and uh, no one's really messed with it since then. I think it's really important that uh, we kind of come back. Of course, I'm here in your right headphone, and you are right, Cam. We are. Um, what does stereo mean? Uh, dual. Dual oh, mono. Oh, so it came to the same headphones? Uh, yes. And mono be, means it would come out of one or the be, other. You know when you're listening to your favorite uh, young Panama Jeezy song? Okay. A song and you hear the hi-hats in one ear? Mm -hmm. That's stereo, baby. Why? Uh, I thought you said stereo was both ears. What's it's, it's, like, well, it's like one side. Oh, okay. Got it. There's a whole thing that I don't even want to start explaining. It's amazing to watch two improv masters at work. And this one, and this one, you get so like like we said, so Cam, like you said, you uh, we and we had been talking about this for a couple of weeks. We are very excited to bring our first ever Two Seasons Pod Corporate Retreat. You know, our corporate offices keep getting bigger and bigger, and as an effort to give back to those who have worked so hard on our side, um, we've decided to come up here to Manitoulin Island, Northern Man Ontario. Manitoulin Island, Northern Ontario, where there were some very interesting signs on the way up that uh, you may have caught. Okay. Um. A lot of them, I thought, were pretty common sense, but it looks like they have some different issues up here than we do. A lot of don't smoke and be pregnant at the same time signs, or don't drink and be pregnant at the same times, or don't abuse your child. Yeah. And be pregnant at the yeah, same and time. and be pregnant at the same time. If I do those things separately. Yeah. Call me yeah. crazy. Call, just Wait. don't call me late for dinner, am I right, fellas? And like we've said, we're sitting here on our very last night, and instead we have chosen to take all of our corporate employees and sit them in front of us, and they use the term forcibly. We use the term adventurously. Right. Listen to um, us record a show. It's incredible that they agreed to no pay for two weeks for this. So it's been a great time. We uh, we got here about four or five days ago. Of course, last night was the uh, we was expected to be the uh, Crystalia live show. Um, he didn't show up. Yeah, no show on Crystalia. Uh, I sent him a text being like, "Hey, cutie, see if he was interested." Um, you know what? It seems like he's got a little bit of heat under him right now. Well, I think I think the problem is with the text that I sent him uh, because I saw the text that you sent yeah. him, and I I was right next in that chain mm. where it said, "Hey, Crystalia, um, I am an adult man." <laughs> and then I just never heard back from him after that. Like the three dots, the three replying dots, just stopped after I told him um, my age. Uh, and I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. He apparently has a problem with adult men, maybe. He's, maybe. Uh, I think he might be um, sexist towards men. That might be the issue. Or ageophobic. Ageophobic. Yes. Is there a word for that? Um, I is. believe it's called ages? ageism. But yeah. I, you never hear about it happening to young people. It only happens to old people. Yeah. That, they don't treat me out because I'm old. It's like, yeah, you're old. Like, Get out of the business. Yeah, get out of here. Sir. Live on your like, boat. I'll never get a job again. I'm 60. I, you can't fire me. We fired Lou last week. He's 62. I don't think that's what 60-year-olds sound like. <laughs> damn, damn right, Cameron. I'll get that audio produced for next week. 
We used to sound like. We're here. Uh, we're here around the fireside, of course. Uh, like we just said, um, our employees are just here listening to us. Um, of course, of course, we'd love to hear uh, maybe what you guys thought about the weekend. Uh, as we know, you guys have been in and out of corporate offices for the past few months now because we keep having to upgrade to larger, and larger businesses. A lot of your work has actually just been moving boxes mm-hmm. up and down. Uh, elevators, packing your desk, and then you know setting up your desk again. And I don't know, as I we this could be a great time for us to hear some feedback. Right. We'd love to hear about some us about as CEOs, CEOs, managers, managers director. Um, you know, is it weird that we show up uh, to work in our expensive sports cars, right? Uh, parking right beside the door, uh, the front door, not right. even in the cor- the parking space, like directly beside the front door. Yeah, I made them put in a handicap spot so no one would take it, so I mm-hmm. can use that one. Yeah. No, that's a great idea. Uh, that was a great idea that you used um, to get your p- car parked a little bit closer. So what do you scum think? That was quick. <laughs> that was quick, Cam. Uh, okay, well, let's talk for a sec. Let's talk for a sec. Um, we should be like a good cop, bad cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, you, no, you already broke the barrier the with bad scum, so, so I think it, you can't go back. I can't treat them well. They won't respect me. You have to be good cop. No, you have to be I bad be cop. Okay, I, no, yeah. I have to be good cop. And uh, so, like, you know, like, you call them scum again, and right. they'll say something like, hey, you know, they want to want coffee or you, you cigarettes. Say that? Or, or I say that. No, I got to say okay. that. No, because you're the bad cop. So right. I'm, I'm going to say it again. Okay, okay, okay. So. All right. Okay, okay. Hey, if, if, after doing all that fucking shit I told you to do, get back over here. we got to ask you some questions. You're useless, and if you're not over on this mic in five seconds. You know what? You're fired already. Okay. You hired me two um, weeks ago. We got our first firing on the spot. Okay, I'm, uh, oh, you told me to be back. I don't know. Why don't we back. fire someone? I mean, just right, right, Don't you're you know how this works? You're fine. I want to be rehired at five percent plus five percent. Damn! Damn what, what did you God. do? Damn it! No. no I'm okay. Okay. Let's, I'm starting okay, let's, a union. Okay. We're, we're going to talk back here for a second. Damn, what did you? What did you do? They're saying unionize. Unionize. I think that's a different language. They don't. Most of the people are not from Canada. What does what does unionize mean? That means they want to get paid less. I don't know. Damn, what did you? What damn it, Cam? What did you bring us into? Well, okay, feedback, people. What are we doing good? I guess you fed us. Um, What's your name? Say your name, you idiot. My name's Connor. No, your employee number. We don't refer to you by name. You don't either. have to use your employee number. Two two three one. Say three, it louder. Two, seven. Louder. Okay. We we gave him the mic cam. We can hear you're you're really playing into this bad cop role. I love it. I've never seen I, you so committed. I, I just want to say that I, I'm glad that you guys heard uh, the the complaints about the the volume of people crying at work, mm. and I do appreciate the sound deadening pads in the bathroom stalls. I'm just wondering if something more could be done. We've realized over here at Two Season of Pod uh, Corporate Office, we have a big morale problem. Uh, and we appreciate all the concern. Along with the soundproof pads, we've now provided uh, every desk with Kleenex um, to wipe up those those sad, salty tears. Um, I like to hope one day the Kleenex won't even be needed. And, you know, the sound pr- the sound padded bathroom can just be a, 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 a just a, a cool addition to... Uh, to a otherwise plain looking bathroom. I do appreciate that, Connor. What department are you in? Say answer his question. Okay, Cam has uh, made his way into the audience now. He's now harassing <laughs> employees, really taking this bad cop thing to, uh, to a good sure level. Performance every day of the week, not just on department day. 89. Department 89, thank you very much, sir, of course. Uh, we are departmentalized here at the Tucson Pod Podcast. Uh, 89, you're on the 89th floor. Um, of our ever-growing building. Uh, so, Cam, it looks like the mic's been passed over to somebody else. Speak your number. 42069. 42069. Um, it's one of our newer... Em- it's one of our newer employees, I think. Yeah, do you recognize them? Uh, I don't recognize many people who no. uh, you work around here. three days ago, and then forced me into a van without telling me where we were going. I didn't bring pants. Yes, now this was a little bit of a confusion, so there were some recent hirees. There was a, 
<laughs> part of the two season of pod corporate retreat experience was the uh, we, we I believe Cam you phrased it as the miss the surprise element. Yes, the initiation. The ini- um, be on your toes. And these are all business terms, because yeah. uh, like in business, you need to be ready for anything. I think that goes without saying, and I'm really sorry you missed the memo on that. We threw you in the van. Uh, very expensive to kind of put everybody had their own vans. We thought that could maybe make up for it. I uh, thought the blindfolding would just add that element of, you know, surprise. Surprise. You didn't know where, you don't know where you are. There's like, no cell phone service here. My mother's been trying to call me, but I can't call her back. I'm afraid. We're family now. Yes, yes. Uh, surprisingly enough, we got such a great deal on this property. Well, it's in what's known as a dead zone, wow. which I think means uh, no, no no service gets in and out. Radio frequencies drop off like it's the Bermuda Triangle. Well, I guess I, I guess if I'm going to be here for a while, I, I can say thanks for padding the soundproofing to the, to the bathroom stall because I know that I sob quite loudly. It's kind of a problem. Um, my one my one issue is that the water is twenty five cents a liter to wash out my eyes, but I'm unable to get less than a liter at a time. Mm. It's kind of inconvenient, and then I have to mop up the floor, and I have to pay twenty five cents a towel, and it just becomes really expensive. I'm I'm in the hole four hundred dollars, guys. Wow, wow, four hundred four hundred dollars in the hole. Good thing it's it's it's, it's good. Nice it's nice to hear that people notice the things we do for them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. It is nice to know. The walls and providing water at a very small fee. So at thank very you low for cost. The very good. Fee. At a yeah. very low cost. I will give you that. It's always um, very. We were very going through the options. Should cool. we make? Should you know there be a like a fifteen kilometer Lizard. round trip trek for a pail of water? Should it be just kind of pay for it? I'm glad. And, uh, I'm, I'm glad. glad they enjoy it. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad because some of the some of the water alternatives were. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't like this one. The other ones were way worse. Well, thank you. My five-minute daily break is over. Oh, so, it's so nice to hear. We hope you enjoy the rest of your evening, of course. Uh, Cam and I will be heading home tomorrow from this retreat. Uh, however, uh, we, th- we 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 want the fun to last for all the employees. So we're gonna keep uh, you guys, we're gonna keep you guys here as long as you can, as long as you'd like, really. There's um, a ferry, and it's about. 40k, 50k away, so it's not too long of a walk, maybe about a day. Yeah, I heard Uber just yeah. got up here, so maybe you can Uber to uh, to the next closest town. Employee 42069. Speak. 42069. Now. Take off the fake mustache. <laughs> Look, it's Felicia Satoti. What? what? How did our she? Our leader and our founder. Oh my, oh, this is... And... She wants us to unionize. Oh my god. And we're back on a union conversation. Unionize! Unionize! Felicia, unionize. Felicia, okay, okay. Union right. speaks. All right. Felicia, uh, this is uh this is this is something new I didn't expect. Felicia must have made her way to from, from Kenya. The uh, prison in so Kenya was the last time we spoke I to her. I broke her out. I broke her out of prison. I broke her out of my prison. Child died. Um, I threw my child at the sniper. So it's, it's, an effect, it's, an effect, it's an effective plan. Uh, <laughs> I like you. Your number, your employee number, by the way. How did you get four twenty six nine? Did that? Uh, that seems like something we should have, like, not given to him. Yeah, you know, like, like all the numbers and or like eight zero zero eight S. Yeah, that is also a number that should not have been allowed. Uh, I don't know if someone got that number, uh, out, out there in the crowd. Uh, you look like a cool guy. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. What and, department uh, do you work in, son? I work in apartment 911. Not apartment. Oh, see, this guy is cool. <laughs> <laughs> he has an answer for everything you're saying, Kim. How much How much are we paying you there, son? I get paid uh, eight Doritos a week. That's fair. And uh, yeah. with all the free water that I can get from the floor, uh, from people's tears. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's enough to get me through the week. Hey, Janet, actually, turn this to seven Doritos. Ac- uh, we're going to make it seven Doritos. Actually, we uh, got some news. We got a great uh, new record. Um, uh, conditions slightly better than that of a Nike factory. Uh, it was it was something we were trying really hard to really kind of accomplish. We want our employees to feel safe at work, right. and we figured uh, seven Doritos. And I'm uh, hopeful they'll like this mesh we put up outside the windows to make sure that they they can't. Leave. I was mm-hmm. I was actually just going to say the other day I jumped out of the window 
and the mesh bounced me right back <laughs> into my seat. And I just figured, I mean, might as well keep working. Now, I guess this is a nightmare. Uh, we were hoping to bring this up. We were hoping to bring this up You're to everybody. Two Seasons Pod has recently uh, started Invested, working yeah. with Acme Industries, and we got a comically springy uh, good prop you back up. Um, we tested it on um, like a rock face, and it fell on a rock. We dropped it from a cliff, and it bounced off, and it came right back up. It came right back up. It was hit me in the face. I read about that, actually. Eight people died, right? Um, eight. We don't like to call them people. people we call them employees. Yeah. Died. Employee yeah, you're right. They have yeah. numbers. <laughs> Here, people. Names uh, personalized things. We don't. We 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 don't. We do not endorse treating people like people. Okay. Our employees are numbers. Right. You get the gist of it. Anyway, what, do you, what do you, what's your point here? It's all corporate structure stuff. Yeah, it's it's a lot of uh, uh, accounting. You wouldn't understand it, young man. Uh, corporate uh, hierarchy. I'm I'm merely the gunman in this fight. I'm merely the man who had a child for the express purpose of throwing it at a sniper to break Felicia out of jail. And I just want to say that I've said my piece. I've said that we need to unionize and we need our water to be 15 cents a liter instead of 25. Hear, hear! No, they, they're, they've started chanting together now all right, with all right. things like here, well, here. Uh, uh, security? Yep. Yeah, he's, he's out of here. He's out of here. Hey. Hey, he's out of here. Come hey. on! Hands off me! Hands off me! Do you know who my father is? Do you know who Thanks. my father is? Thank you, employees. Now, I'm yep. sorry, guys. I did not think this is the way that uh, this 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 action would be going today. Um, I've never worked in an office personally, but I always thought this was a, a bit more less aggressive. Yes, I know. We've angrily. never met the employees before because mm -hmm. we don't, well, again, look at them as people. But um, we, ha we do get emails from each one of them. Um, you know, it's nice to put a face to an email signature. Um, <laughs> oh, looks like someone uh, is spilling something over there. Yeah, you clean that up with your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get right down there. Oh, he's really doing it. He's yeah. really doing it right before you, eh? Perfect. Jesus. Yeah, stay down there. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me do the pop thing, Have right? I pleased you now, this master? Too much? Am I laying on too thick? You're late. You're laying on way too thick. You, you have this man in. He's huddled in a. He needs to tears. respect us, though. Oh my lord. Uh, People well, respect okay. leaders we, we, that put him down. We we need to we need to move we need to move this show in a positive direction. I'm feeling a lot of uh, a lot of negativity in the room. So Cam, I have something, folks. Uh, folks at not only at home, sitting in the audience here of this corporate treat. I have some exciting news because Cam, we got another email this week. Dear two C's in a pod at gmail dot com. Stop plugging your email all the time. Nobody is going to write you. Emails. Again, um, emails. Uh, we, of course, we listen to your suggestions regarding the soundproofed bathrooms due to all the crying, which a uh, real morale problem we're still trying to work on. Um, but we did get some, uh, uh, we did get an exciting business proposal Ooh. in our email today. Uh, and the title of the email was just business proposal and then as many dots as presumably the subject heading kind of allows. Right. Kind of like two lines of it. It's from a man named Mohammed Mohammed Saad. Mohammed Saad. I'm really looking forward to see what Mohammed Saad has to say. Uh, Mohammed has to say greetings. An oil businessman made a fixed deposit of 15 million euros in my bank branch where I am a director, and he died with his entire family in a plane crash, leaving behind no next of kin or business partner. This is oddly similar to that of Felicia yeah, Tatoti. Um, but, that but he keeps really writing, well. I propose to present you as next of kin slash business partner to claim the fund. If interested, contact me with your full name, telephone number uh, to reach you, and most importantly, a confirmation of acceptance. Kindly send me the following things, full names, address, occupation, nationality, and direct mobile telephone lines. Perfect. Um, there you have it. There you have it, Cam. Uh, we are often so, God, just always getting so just many. always getting that VC money. So many so nice incredible people wanting to reach out to the Susan Pod podcast and another 15 million euros. Uh, Perfect. Just seven, like that. Seven cents, it's fine. Just like that, we can add to, uh, and I think with this money, Cam, I think we can say in, in front of everybody here, folks, we're moving offices again. We're moving offices. We're moving ready offices to move. again. When you guys Thank get you. back into the, when you guys get back in the city, pack up because we're uh, we're now, we gotta find a bigger building. Technically, when we're working for uh, liability sake, you're no longer employees. You're now contractors because contractors can get hurt on the job, and we're not liable. 
Yes. Okay. That's uh, that's another important aspect during the Did moving. You present us on that. Pardon? Well, we we're firing you all and rehiring you as contracts. It's one of those type yeah. of you get it. It's and, corporate. Yeah. Then you'll be going on your waiting day sixty period again to re become an uh, employee and getting your number again, which will change. See, it all makes sense. Everybody, everybody here gets it. I think it's time to talk about double building seven. <laughs> so, Tell us about it. So round of applauses. Round of applauses. Oh no. How many buildings fell on 9-11? <laughs> yeah! Too many! Too many! Not enough! Not enough! Do, did I get three buildings? <laughs> three buildings! Is that what I'm hearing from the crowd? Three? Tower seven. Three? Three buildings. <laughs> Usually the answer I get is two. Investigate you guys, 311. <laughs> you guys aren't from Sudbury, are you? <laughs> Boo. Sudbury. Straight Chatham. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Chatham. Yeah, yeah, Chatham. Yeah. So Sudbury said two buildings, but it's actually three buildings <laughs> fell that day. <laughs> Um, do we have anybody, any other, do we have any other employees who want to oh, uh, possibly uh, share what they have to say? You again? I, I hope he's as cool as that 42069 guy. I am employee <laughs> number 64280. I would like to say that the company values is something that drew me to exploring my career with this company. Mm -hmm. I, for one, am looking to solve I for one am looking to become a wizard when I am 30 that is my ultimate goal mm. as a person as wow. a human being that is my goal my mission interesting and the values of this company I felt oh everybody is so miserable everybody is so sad I can really embody that and build my my true goal of being a wizard mm -hmm. but then being associated with two C's in a pod I became too irresistible and too sexy for the opposite sex, this and I was happened. unable to meet my 30 years becoming a wizard. So I have my question for you is, mm. why? <laughs> um, wait, well, one, one thing I have to say, employee, uh, you pointed out something. Very, you pointed out something that we are certainly going for here at Two Seasons Pod, which is that. Like 1984 Mac commercial of everybody working, and the one woman throws the uh, the big sledgehammer through the screen. That's very much the the aesthetic that we are going here, and I'm glad that you are able to personify that woman who runs through and throws the sledgehammer through the uh, through the Big Brother face, because um, that is something new. The LED wall with Cam and mine's face. Uh, constantly giving watching. messages of yeah, we are always watching. I, that I appreciate hearing. that. I appreciate being known that I am being watched. Yeah, it's it um, makes me feel safe. Exactly, and, and that's what yeah. it is. I mean, everyone's you everyone know uh, prefers safety in one leader. Everyone, yes. everyone you don't need more than one. Uh, uh, employee safety was very much a concern of ours, especially after the data breach that we had with everybody's personal emails and uh, personal banking information uh, through a series of bad investments that we made. Um, and it's nice to know It's nice to know that we are getting things back on track. Yeah, another great comment. Uh, I'm so glad to hear all the employees are so happy here. Uh, yeah. I haven't heard one complaint yet. I've heard some things about cheap water. I've heard some things about crying stalls. Um, I mean... I think their uh, morale's pretty high. I, would I mean, say. crying stalls yeah. is like not a. It's like one of those uh, one of those like break stuff rooms. Yeah. You know, where you break shit, where you break shit to like get right. your to get frustrated. Imagine if you could cry and no one would ever know. Yeah, I think they like it's the, liberating. I, I I would think, I would love to work at an office where I could just cry, it's just, it's cry, and work they'd be hard more open and cry. with us when we ask for feedback. But it's really just. It seems like they're kind of kissing our feet a little bit. A Which, lot of po I mean, a lot a lot of positive news, you know. I mean, certainly people uh, always trying to look up to climb up the corporate ladder. Yep. And I think our employees here are no different. Yeah, and, and Felicia coming around to say that she's super supportive of her investment is. Uh, of course, well, the fact that she's broken out of prison now, um, hopefully, it means that she's somewhere that we can get in contact with her. Of course, this is the woman who donated well over twenty-two million dollars yeah, to incredible. us. Yeah. And we have spent it, uh, uh, we've spent it. <laughs> on the corporate office. <laughs> yeah. The other and on, on retreats yeah. like this, uh, D'Elia yeah. cost mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, um, he does. Hoping to get a bit of a refund on him. Yeah. 
because uh, he canceled. Hoping to see Louis C.K. come by too, and maybe, uh, he was the backup for he was the backup was, yeah, he for was the, the backup, uh, yeah. he was the backup for the show. Of course, um, I tried. Uh, Bill Cosby at gmail dot com isn't even functioning anymore. You just get like an a return message that no one's even on the other side. Yeah, yeah, that's a uh, that's a tough one because we all do want to drink, and you know you just can't trust the guy in the kitchen. Can't. No. Um, but plowing ahead here, plowing ahead here. Um, some of th- <laughs> some of the things we got to on the weekend for, for a reminder. Some good beach days, beach days with the uh, the employees here. Um, let them sit in the sun while uh, they hold our fans above us. Very nice of them. That was fun. The uh, yeah. it was it was very important to us for everybody to get a fun experience. Right. The experience of of fanning. Yeah. With one of those large. It's just so funny when it's they It's fun ask. to fan people. Yeah. You know, and I, we we really wanted to show that out to mm-hmm. all of you employees here. We're glad that you guys got to do it. And it's, it's it's funny to hear when they want sunscreen. It's like. What? Why would we give that to them? I don't get That's it. Not part of the I don't get it. All, they, uh, they need to read the contract. It would, <laughs> the contract. Like it's, it's pretty, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Um, you have all the you have all the vegetable oil you want to rub all over yourself. Yeah, that a limited amounts of vegetable oil, and we're getting blamed for sunscreen. Yeah, that was good. Uh, we went up to the Jones Bluff and played a lot of games where we pretend to push them off the cliff. They seem to enjoy that. Mm. Keep them stuck in the uh, caves for a little bit. Uh, let them let them squirm, as you like to say. Yes. Uh, nothing people like more than the feeling of being trapped, the feeling of uh, you're never going to get out, or the feeling of you know you're trapped, but you you know no one's going to save you. Yeah, I didn't know if I had a fear of claustrophobia going into it, but going into it when you're going to that first, you you went to the caves as well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Going to that first little section where you can't really see the ground at all, it definitely brought in some fears of like, oh, what if I, you know, that was the first time I've actually felt that claustrophobia. Not good. It's uh, not knowing where your foot's gonna land. I think it's just not being able to see like how tight the gap is itself. It's a very open trail that doesn't really lend itself well to visitors, in a sense. Feels a little dangerous. Able, well, able-bodied visitors. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It was uh, overall good. Um, in a sense, I also like that, too, because it doesn't have a trailing system that is so easy that everyone's able to walk through it. But put a little bit of challenge in there, then, you know. Keep the, keeps the squares out? Yeah, yeah. Like, you still want your trail to have a certain element of people are cool. Oh, people are like no nerds. Not like no walking, nerds. Like flip flops all the way through it. Because I think that's kind of not really hiking. That's very that important. Point. When you're making a trail, what kind of people do you want on your trail? Yeah. You want a bunch of cool kids there was smoking a... reefer? Or you want some lame ones? I think we were people smoking reefer though. It may have been. It was mostly families there. We didn't see. It was, we saw it was maybe it. one people our age, and they were listening to. Once I was seven years old. <laughs> yeah, Jason Mraz. Is it, it wasn't Jason Mraz. I don't think so. Employees, you know? Who sings that song? Uh, like something. One Republic. Possibly. That sounds about right. It was a very sad song. I feel like One Republic sings all those songs that you don't know who sings that song. I'm just curious song what that weekend bro- looked like for them. It's like, you guys want to go up in a mountain and listen to like a super sad breakup song? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't get it. It's like, oh, this is so beautiful here. It's like... Can I play some music? You're like, like, sure, okay. What's it gonna be? You're like, one sound seven years. It's a bold choice. We're gonna walk two hours. You gotta pick a better song to. Uh... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'd like, I'd like to hear. The, I'd like to hear what they're doing that weekend. Like, is their weekend anything similar to ours? Because ours wasn't really packed with much adventure at all. It was mostly wake up, scramble because it's late in the morning already, and try and get out the door. Go to the beach, sit there for hours. Go play football in the water, pretend to tackle each other, tackle each other, get on each other's backs, strangle each other, hit each other a little bit. Maybe that's just my weekend. Um, and then you go home and then you drink again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we didn't do much. <laughs> in, the <laughs> eyes, in the eyes of Cam LeClaire, who gets uh, groceries at 5.30 a.m., yeah, we haven't done shit. This week. <laughs> we haven't done shit all this weekend. I guess, but I, maybe it's just the activity. I, it's been such a nice weekend that, yeah, like, been- we've... We don't. I don't have to get the chance to have like four or five days of just straight nice weather. We can go in the water every day. It's warm water. I mean, if if we were to say, if looking back on it, and I'll let the employees jump in on this wall, 
what would you change about this weekend? And mine would be skip Misery Bay. That's it. Misery Bay was this bay we went to, which in its title is exactly that, miserable. It's a, um, it's a bay that didn't have any beach to it and water colder than my ex-wife. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> any, any other comments from the employees about what they would rather change? If they had to change one thing about this weekend, what they actually did do or didn't do, what's uh, any thoughts? Raise your hands. All right. Oh, it's the cool one again. <laughs> I want to hear more from him. I hope he said. I hope his answer is something that ends with like a "down with the man" kind of thing. But it's cool. I have autism. Oh. So uh, social situations are overwhelming. So one thing I thought might be cool for our next chill trip is maybe like uh, on one of the days do some where we split into like small groups and each check out a different thing. That was all. That was the suggestion. I was no, and that and that and that, and that was very good. That was a very good suggestion. Are you the cool employee? I, uh, yeah, four two zero six nine. Four two zero six nine. It's nice yeah. to see you. I wish you didn't have autism. I gotta say that. Uh, um, no, honestly, it's, is it it's the pretty cool chill. kind? It's like it. I, I'm also bipolar, so you know, it's like cool in the mania stages, and then when I'm in my bed crying, it's like. I have autism, but that's not the important thing. Interesting. At that point. So hopefully, when you're at your desk, it could be the cool side. Yeah, it's so nice go to, to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, go to the crying, go to the crying stall for the not cool side. But make sure I only <laughs> see the cool one. Yeah, we don't <laughs> need any of that. Does that make sense? <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> keep it on your keep it on your off time. Do yeah, the okay, uncool one, but make sure I, I don't get to see it. Yeah, because I do think that working with groups of eight is whatever we are. Uh, the only employees that have uh, been in our small circle. Uh, the other ones, I <laughs> think we. Uh, of course, we don't yeah, count we, yeah, them. we yeah. have we have a few other do- uh, we have a few uh, dozen other uh, employees that we've sort of. The, I mean, the, this is this is our top mm-hmm. six of the creme de la creme, as it were, from the corporate office. But mobilizing six people can be very challenging, um, especially when there can be two perspectives on what to do next. Uh, leads to a lot of stall time which in my opinion is wasted time but that's just me um but thanks for bringing that up uh 4269 42069 you're welcome your majesty that's right oh yeah we also started that's a new thing we started we we're, it's not like mr osborne it's uh your majesty yeah yeah that's a new thing we started that, yeah, yeah okay hi um hello why are there no camp songs we did have camp songs. We did a roll call. There were not enough camp songs. <laughs> not enough camp songs. Uh, this was a good suggestion to be brought up. Um, I'm glad we, they liked the camp songs that we did. Get her to the crying cell. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Go to the crying cell there. I don't remember many camp songs involving dead black flies. You remember that one? Uh, I thought camp songs were supposed to be all like fun and happy. There, no, there definitely is one. It goes something like what she's saying, just a little more uh, energetic, a little more pop. Could you, could you speak up? There ain't no flies on us. Damn, you're killing this woman. There ain't no flies on us. <laughs> <laughs> it's exhausting dealing with weakness. Damn, I told you, I told you, I told you this was gonna happen. I told you this was gonna happen. Uh, you know, we still have another night left. You know, we can we can incorporate a lot of these campfire songs, dead black flies, sure, uh, kumbaya, Someone's hot cross money. buns. All right, sir. Where are you from, sir? <laughs> I'm from Chatham. 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 I hardly knew him. Am I right? <laughs> There's still talk. Talk of doing Saw Six on the television. I heard somebody talking about no. it earlier today. Does anyone know about that? Um, Does anyone still feel on that? What? Saw Six on the television? No, you don't like Never that one? Seen. Never seen it? Okay. Yeah, it's actually, um, I actually hid that in there into the, uh, the 2C's application process. Um, you hid it? Which Saw film have you seen? Ah. Check as many as apply, and if they checked a single one, they didn't get the job. This is a <laughs> Saw-free zone. 
actually. And uh, naturally, we thought the time to introduce our employees to the franchise would be on number six. Do I need to know anything about the first four or five? I know the first one, but how? I think it's just the traps, right? I just you, you, know, you know the yeah. little guy in the clown, and he's like, yeah. you want to play a game? You want to play a game? There you go. Perfect. Just yeah. first five movies. First five movies. You want to play a game. But is it 3D? Would you have to watch it in 3D? Uh, no. Okay. You say yes. We have an employee nodding his head. We do have an employee nodding his head. We have to watch it in 3D. Now, uh, uh, you're wearing those blue and red... Yeah, I glasses hate those. from uh, Fruit Loops boxes. I uh, just wondered, did you bring a rest? Did you bring enough for everybody, or uh, are we gonna be able to watch this one? Better question: Is 3D dead? I only have my State own number pair. first number. Three seven. One, two, whatever I said before. <laughs> uh, I did bring 3D glasses, but they're mine and they're prescription. <laughs> Do you have to do that with, when you have so, glasses? So, <laughs> <laughs> like the like the they make three D clearer, or they're like your glasses, but you can only wear them for three D purposes. Yeah, they fit my eyes, and I can see in three D. I wonder if they'll have some of the contact lenses that are three D, just for probably not, eh? Probably, probably not, because no, I no. think it would have to I think be 3D like three D is almost dead. No, three D is alive. No way. You think 3D is more alive than virtual reality? I didn't know those were two. <laughs> I didn't know those were the two like competing. Why <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't it be? It's like For, either you like VR or you like 3D movies. I no think 3D movies are dead. I think it had a thing for like five years, and then they're like, we do 3D TV, 3D TVs now, and then that shit the bed. And like, when's the last time you went into a theater to watch a 3D movie? I pretty much only go to theaters to see 3D town. movies. Are you serious? Well, it seems like every month, like, the next blockbuster is coming out. I'm probably going to check out the biggest block in the next 3D? blockbuster. Yeah, like, if a superhero movie comes out, that's going to be 3D. If, like, one of the Fast and Furious movies comes you out, watch that's it in 3D. 3D. Jurassic Park comes out. Doesn't it hurt your 3D. head? No, and I do the glasses on top of the glasses. I do yeah, one I set of glasses. To do that. I like, yeah, I genuinely enjoy watching 3d oh i films. hate it it makes my head sore yeah no i don't i don't get the i don't now, get the soreness do they, i'm a do paying they plan? participant also is the editing process different or is it just the colors uh we could ask the team from our 3d video department does anybody know uh well there no but it's all going to be hard hard to edit <laughs> isn't it just could you just put a layer on the whole video that makes it 3D? Oh, we can hypothesize all we want, but we're never going to come to the actual answer. Hmm. Because some movies seem to be like built for it. Like, uh, what's the one with the blue people? Avatar. Yeah, that's the one. Um, that one has a lot of things that like seem like it was meant for 3D. But I mean, I don't need to see like Doctor Dude little bullshit in 3D. Yeah, well, I think. Great Gatsby. Was that it? Was, was the Great Gatsby in 3D? Yeah. Did you watch it in 3D? Of course. That's <laughs> how the director intended. That's ba Boz Lerman actually wanted Moulin Rouge to be in 3D, and you'd have uh, Nicole Kidman swinging around your face, but uh, they went Movie against reference that. that I don't get. Yeah. Diamonds! <laughs> yep, don't get that one. <laughs> uh, right over my head. No, 3D's good now because it used to be made to have a moment that was going to, like, wow you in 3D, the moment where something explodes and something comes towards the camera mm -hmm. and then slowly fades away in like yeah. that slow-mo and you're like, oh, but now it's more just it provides a layer to the environment. They're not doing things so much that are like, wow, look at the 3D, it's right in front of your face. It's just like, oh, this is a movie with depth. Mm -hmm. hmm. How about the rocking chairs? How do you feel about the rocking chairs in the cinema, the ones that move back and forth? Like, they have action to them. Oh, the D-Box, the red ones. I don't know. Yeah, they don't rock. I don't go to the movies often. I uh, only did it the one time. And? Jurassic, Jurassic World. World. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah? But it was like... I didn't like it. You didn't like it. Uh, employee 3271, whatever you said last time, yeah. didn't... Uh, how about... How about? Have you ever been to one of those, like, VIP movies? I don't like the VIP. I've never done it. What's it like? Uh, oh oh yeah, it's, it feels it's like a waste drink. of time it's because it, you, you can juice. drink a lot of places. Though. Okay, but that's it's so but 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 that's but that's oh, yeah, where it comes. So yeah. Well, that's the question for me is how badly do I want to drink 
while I'm watching a movie. I mean, I've gone, I've gone like 28 years. I've, yeah. I've gone like 28 years of my life going to Every movie time. theaters without drinking. So for me personally, booze <laughs> is not as valuable to me during a movie watch. So yeah. for me, is that thing? the only you perk? Not, you don't well, understand they, they deliver you food. <laughs> yeah. The chairs are a little bit wider. Movies you have a big tray, but like the screen is smaller. You can watch a movie. The screen's smaller. Yeah, film. because they're not going to use Depends the biggest the cinemas because those can no? pack in the most people. Oh, I thought they're there's VIP use... and regular in the same arena. No, you're oh. in your own thing. That's how they are able to distinguish. So how many people are in a VIP booth? I mean, who knows? Is it like? Like it's like a fifty percent. So of a pic normal picture one? the no, big. It's like twenty percent. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. picture yeah. picture the biggest theater at a Cineplex. Okay. A quarter of that size is probably the VIP. And the waiters don't. Is it waiters? People? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever Employees, they're called. Yeah. Contractors. Um, they don't get in the way at all. They duck. No. They duck. They don't come during. The movie. They don't come during the movie. That's when the, do they come? You're allowed to drink. Like you get your booze before. Generally you can do that in a lot of movie theaters now. But that's the thing. That's though this adds to the point of it not being worth it. Oh, is that yeah, your your recliners? You're pay. You're pay, you're I mean, you get a larger chair and a fucking big big ass tray. Right. But you're watching it. You can on shitty nachos that are just. That's really what it is. Like yeah. Dip. I mean, you're already spending what probably twenty bucks a pop for the tickets. Yeah. And then what? Twenty bucks per meal for a thing. I mean, the drinks aren't like competitively priced to a right. bar that you would go to. I'm a big fan of the YouTube video or YouTube movies now because they put a lot of new movies on YouTube, and they're like three ninety nine. I'm like, this is a perfect because sometimes digging through torrents to try and find a movie is just like, what is this actually worth to me if this is going to take me half an hour plus? And I go through seven links, and each one of them is like. Just loading, loading, loading. Or I'm like, perfect quality, what is $4 to me? I think that's the way to go. Why not? Yeah. Some of them, the newer I ones, anyone, are I don't like think anyone's, anyone's stopping that. Yeah. No, some people will be like, oh, fuck, free movie bullshit. Um, but I don't know. I changed my mind on that. And the funny thing about that is it only took me one purchase, and then I was convinced. Hunt for the Red October. Hunt for the Red October is the first movie I ever bought. The Hunt for Red uh, October? <laughs> <laughs> you saw Hunt for the Red October on YouTube? <laughs> yeah. And that was like... I figured out how easy it was. Bucks. Yeah, yeah, I figured out how course. easy it was. And then I was like, oh, I didn't know this was a thing. Because then yeah. you started to see like advertisements for like, you know these new... I, mean, I, I watched Parasite I'm not, on it. I'm not, I'm not criticizing like the point of the ease of it. I just think that like Hunt for the Red October is a weird choice to totally flip your paradigm That's, on how you not watch choice. movies. Because try and find a link for that. <laughs> He's got you there. How, how do you find a link for it? Yeah. Because it's just a pain in the ass because like, not many people are being like, I'm going to re-upload Hunt. Because it's kind of a shit movie. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd give it one out of 99. Like, not great. Um, so, people aren't going to put it up. Now, Parasite, I could probably found a thousand different links for it. But I ended up paying like $4 for it. And I'm like, I know this is going to be perfect. I know that it's not going to fuck up. And I know that I can pause it and then start again in the morning if I wanted to. I mean, all good points. You've changed my mind. <laughs> I, am I think Euro. YouTube is the only source for movies. All good points, and all of them, Cam, you can't do that at the VIP movie theater. Yeah, no, I... You could pay $4, go on YouTube, have your drinks, you know, uh -oh. finger uh -oh. somebody, and then you're, like, already home. Have you ever... Have you finger ever... Somebody? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, ooh, this chair is not sitting right. Um... Have you ever made out in a movie theater? Yeah. Thanks, employee number 3271. Could you maybe nine, elaborate? Whatever you, whatever you said. Hmm? Yeah, I've, you I have, I've, 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 uh, I've made out in a movie theater before. I don't think I ever have. I typically right. fall asleep. <laughs> you sound like a terrible date. I, I don't like movies. <laughs> You're on time. <laughs> like, to the second. <laughs> you fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go to, you're, you're driving her home at 10:30 because you got to be up at 4. Yeah, exactly. 10:30 <laughs> you're None of she's this like do you want to come in? You're like it's pretty late already. It's pretty late. <laughs> yeah. You're like what what time are you waking up? You're like I don't know. You're like why well, have things to do tomorrow so I don't think this is going to work well, okay? I will call you tomorrow about 6:02 a.m. Don't expect a minute later. Honestly not. Honestly you won't. Yeah. Um 
Maybe you haven't found the right movie. Maybe you haven't found the right theater. That, I, just, I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of a weird public thing that I don't really want to engage no, in. You've never gone to the back corner of a movie theater when you were like six, you seventeen. You a shitty movie. Yeah, you don't. You don't, a movie, you don't. you don't do it. You can do it at Schindler's List. You could. You could. What? Well, you could do it at Schindler's List. But yeah, or it can be uh, Premonition with Sandra Bullock. And then periodically, in between you calling the exact plot of what was happening next, you know, right. you get a little get a little face crush on. What's the worst movie you've seen in recent times in a theater? Um, I saw the Harley Quinn movie, and that was pretty bad. Really? Yeah, it did that plot device that I hate in movies where it starts off in one place, but that's actually like it starts off in like the middle of the movie and does one of those like ever wondered how I got here, and then it goes right. back. So the first half of the movie was getting point. up to the point that started the movie, and it's to me that's just like, oh no, start at the beginning of the movie. You want to see the and whole then tale. get to the movie. Don't do the. You don't want to see that. Yep, that's me. Seventeen years old, pants at my ankles. How did I get here? It's a funny story. And then Bob O'Reilly cues in. Yeah. 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 That song too. The, 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 the other Bob O'Reilly. That's not Bob O'Reilly, is it? Uh, I think I was thinking of, yeah, Teenage Wasteland. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's actually called Baba O'Reilly. Yeah! You were thinking of David Caruso, David yeah. David Caruso finds the slightest piece of evidence and has been working on this line for a while. He saw the evidence a while back. And just like, how do I piece this together into a... <laughs> can't bring it up yet. <laughs> he, he's sitting there. He's a gruesome it. murder has just occurred. And in his, yeah. his head, he's thinking, how do I be funny? How do I pull out my sunglasses and say something just absolutely killer that, like, people are going to fall on their butts and be like, holy smokes, this is the detective that I Was there ever a crossover episode where where William Peterson and David Caruso uh, and um, uh, the other, and Lieutenant Dan, who all kind of met up? at the same time. Gary Sinise? (laughs) Not the same time, but they did have crossover. They did have a crossover episode. Was it in CSIs? Miami or was it in Vegas? Um, oh. One of them was. Sorry. <laughs> one of them was uh, uh, in Miami, and they came from New York because he ran from New York, the bad guy. Oh. Came to Miami, and then they were like, "Can you help us out?" And he said. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> down, down. Down. The epic CSI crossover episode. Uh, maybe we should look for that on YouTube tonight, Cam. Maybe Check give the uh, maybe give some of this. We can play four ninety nine for it. No, give, t- uh, TV. Bad way to do it on YouTube. Sometimes, oh, yeah. sometimes, <laughs> families have chickens. On top of their kitchen, the kitchen themed with roosters. Have you guys ever seen this? On top of them. On top of them. Just roosters. What a weird place to put them. (laughs) (laughs) Put them. (laughs) Are we making chicken trophies or are we putting them in the oven? (laughs) Am I right, folks? (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Um, but this this conversation reminded me because I have a friend who works in television, and he re- revealed something to me that was a little bit sad about the magic of TV. Now you know those shows like Queer Eye that they're helping out people mm-hmm. throughout the show, and they go through it. He's like, yeah, they're helping out like nine people at once because it's all in the same area, and they're just. Cons- and I'm like, oh, so they're not building a week long connection with that person and going through all the highs and lows, and no, they're they're just like. Go to this place. Go to this place. Go to this place. Go to this place. We're gonna and they just keep going and I'm like, I don't know. That's kind of a sad reality of TV that it's. Yeah, I always thought they uh, they made uh, they like tore down a house and rebuilt it in an hour. Yeah. Uh, for Extreme Home Makeover. Mm-hmm. And I thought like Ty, I thought Ty Pennington changed these people's lives, and he he was just another life to change to make a quick buck. Yeah, TV's kind of sad like that. Amen. That's why we podcast. Yeah, because this is live. Because this, it gets to be live. Of course, it's going to be on your radio. It's going to be on 107, uh, 106.7. 106.9 Easy Rock. Easy, 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 easy Rock, Man of Two Island. Yeah, Coming on, on the next, Kim, Kim Mitchell. On Man of Two Island, yeah. Uh, big news. We did, get, we did get Kim Mitchell to take his regular time slot right after us on the network. Um, and it's great. He's here. Uh, he's bicking his skull. Yeah, 
uh, as we go right now because the show is probably going to wrap up soon. Uh, yeah, I think so. He's chomping at the bit to do a little bit of uh, self promotion. Hoping it's has he released a new album ever? <laughs> uh, pr- not not. Or is it just the oldies? Yeah, just since, not since he had hair, probably, or since he lost hair. Yeah, what an insane decision to hire him as the main guy for Q107. I mean, I guess he was the only. Neil Young wasn't available. Gordon Downey didn't want to do it, Gordon and then they kept Downey? going down the list. Yeah. Gordon Downey. <laughs> I'm going to assume, I'm gonna assume yeah, someone Downey. called him Gordon. I, I thought you said Gorn. I'm like, no, that's, a, really that's a name, yeah. It's like Gorn. I know that I know that much about uh, about the man who was the first choice for Kim Mitchell's drive time radio show from 3 to 6. Dan on Aykroyd was busy. Dan Aykroyd was busy. <laughs> Dan Rock, a Canadian uh, actor? Yeah. What did he do? What, give me, give me what he looks like. Ghostbusters? Curly hair? No. Straight hair? Give I me mean, another one. I don't. That's the thing. I don't ever know who you're thinking about. <laughs> because I could say SNL Ghostbusters, and those could be like two. You have no. Well, SNL, I'm like over my head. Ghostbusters, I'm like guy with the curly hair. The one. Okay, no, it's Harold Ramis. Bill Murray. Yeah. No, Bill honestly, Murray. That's the guy I'm thinking of. No, you're thinking of Harold Ramis. Scrooge. Who is Ray the guy Bill you're Murray. talking about? Dan Aykroyd would be the muscle of that group. Yeah. Give me another one. Rick Moranis nope. is no, no, no. the Next wild movie. card. Jeez, what else was Dan Aykroyd? Bill Murray was he's the... He's like, to, like uh... Second City? Nope. He's in all of this, like, Bill Murray... Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, like Blues like Brothers. Old... Blues yeah, Brothers. Yeah, Blues yeah. Brothers. Uh, oh. Uh, we, should we have a top 50 list of movies that I probably should have seen by this point? But I don't won't... even think it's a I should have seen. I think, Cam, you and I get into spirals of this where there gets to be points where I can keep trying and you're not going to get it. Give me one more. Was he in Roadhouse? Didn't see no, it. he wasn't in Roadhouse. That was Sam Elliott. Yeah, see, doesn't matter. Um, Come on, one more. Do IMDb. Dan. Google, give me a readout of Dan Aykroyd. Another Aykroyd? Jamie, bring it up. Jamie. Is he, uh... <laughs> Jamie, bring it up. Does he have a son that's kind of famous? Something Aykroyd? No, you're thinking of Eugene Levy. Yes. Oh, yeah! Bonehead. See, I'm good at knowing what Cam is thinking. <laughs> 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 it's hard to get him to get him the things he's not. It's hard he's to, to get him. It's hard Indiana to get him Jones, into though. the world of whatever uh, no whatever idea. we're dealing he's with. He's in Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom. Haven't seen that one. Next what? one. Since when was Dan Aykroyd in did Temple he serve of Doom? The monkey. I feel like he, I feel like he would have been in that uh, in that palace. With like a turban on. We may have to. We <laughs> no. May... <laughs> no, one, no one canceled Dan Aykroyd. Not yet. Please. Uh, that's who he is. Dates? Yeah, there's nothing here. Christmas Wait, with the Cranks. Wait, he's like 50 dates? Yeah. Apparently we have a uh, Dan Aykroyd search going on here. Folks at home find it riveting, I'm sure. But Cam, I think it's only time for one more thing to do here on the podcast. And that is play a little game of Headliner Asinine. Headliner Asinine. Hey. Hey. Or asinine. Everybody knows how this game is played. Cam and I have three headlines for each other. Sometimes they're real, and sometimes they are not. So let me start off uh, with Ohio or no Ohio. Give me a second, pulling it up here. Scottish man fined for calling an Irish man a leprechaun. Fined. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sure. Um, you know, if if you were Irish, I wouldn't appreciate being called a. Leprechaun. It's like it's that. That's got to be like the derogatory term for that for Irish. That's our N word. For <laughs> that that's your knockout word right there. Would you be fined for it? I don't know. Can you be fined just for being mean to somebody? I'm sure you can. But like you know, I feel like calling somebody a leprechaun is kind of the same equivalent of being like, "Hey, dumbass." Yeah. Would you be fined for calling somebody a dumbass in reality? I'm going to say no, so I'm going to say that's asinine. That, that my friend, warriors. is a headline, Social but it kind of buries the lead a little bit. Maybe not buries the lead, but um, basically someone had a girlfriend, and then they lost that it looks girlfriend. Like a boyfriend? So they had a, <laughs> they look like a boyfriend. There go. Um, do you like my stupid hair? Um, <laughs> um, and she, so her, his... Her his ex girlfriend, 
uh, had a new boyfriend, and he sent him an email being like, this dude is trash, and he's Scottish, and he's just trashing this guy who was from Ireland, then called him a leprechaun. And I think the rest of the email was much more substantive than leprechaun. That was just one of the words that they used. Um, and, yeah, so it wasn't so much for the leprechaun. So, again, a little bit of news guiding you the wrong way. But derogatory enough where he got fined for it and said, like, hey, you can't hurt Scottish people's feelings. What or think, Irish people. What do you think the fine is on, uh, on that? I don't know. I mean, maybe, it's, maybe, like, be, like... Old. Sit in front of Walmart and Couple compliment people for half an hour. <laughs> yeah, a couple pieces of gold from the end of the uh, the rainbow. A can of Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> they love Guinness there. Classic Gin head. What if you call them a guinea? I, think I feel like, like that, that would be the inappropriate that thing. Sounds vaguely racist. That sound does sound vaguely. What's, what's the one that you have that sounds vaguely racist? Nope. Kleeman. 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 Yeah. Kleeman. Yeah. That's uh. It's, it's, I'm allowed to. We're allowed to say yeah, that word. We are Cleman on this podcast. Cleancast. Please email if you have any questions about that. Okay, Cam, I got one here for you. Is everybody ready? Um, headliner asked nine. Uh, a bear in Italy has been sentenced to death after attacking a t- hikers. Oh, yeah, I could see that, and I think they put they put the term "sentence to death" so it makes it seem like he's going through a criminal tribunal. But I think sentence to death just means like, yeah, they're gonna shoot it because it's on their property. And they're going to hunt him down, um, like Indiana Jones style. Does he ever hunt uh, bears in this movie? No. Does he ever he's, hunt animals? He's more dealing with Nazis. Really? Yeah, Nazis is his biggest thing. And snakes. Not Nazis are in the Indiana Jones movie? That's the whole point of the movie. No, he's get, catching uh, treasure. That the Nazis are trying to steal for nefarious means. What year is this set in? Nineteen thirty-six. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why would? I, why would? Why do you think anything I'm saying to you is a lie? I'm trying to get one over on you. I don't you. know because one time we were playing basketball or base or uh, football today, you said you caught the ball and I didn't believe you. So <laughs> I don't know if I can trust you. <laughs> <laughs> like one time, I thought you may have caught a ball. Yeah, you were holding and looking at me like I got the ball, and I don't think you caught it personally. <laughs> And one of the debates that will stand <laughs> longer than the test of time. Uh, so, Cam, what do you have to what do you have to say about that? Oh uh, yeah, it's a headline. Cam, that's a headline. Here you go for you. Coming from uh, coming from Italy in the northern region of Trentino, where a man and his twenty eight year old son were attacked on a path when they were walking by. Um, so apparently, like the uh, the bear attacks the son. The father jumps on the bear to mm-hmm. get him away. Mm-hmm. Um, the bear uh, bites, swipes at the fucking smacks the older man and uh, breaks his leg in four different places. Holy shit. Uh, before the son was able to clap his hands, distract the bear, the bear goes off in the woods. Um, he says, when you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Gets the bear every time. Uh, so then, after this happened, the, after this happened, the uh, the governor of Trentino, Maurizio Fugatti, signed an order to uh, allowing to capture and kill the bear. One order that Itali- uh, Italy's National Institute for Environmental Protection Research uh, says that ain't fair. Uh, the bear is still alive right now. Um, so you're saying we go on a little hunt? I don't know. Keep, keep an eye on it. There's keep fifteen. There's fifteen thousand signatures right now to try to keep this bear alive. Um, hmm. Interesting. Um, hi or no Ohio. Coronavirus patient. Coronavirus patient <laughs> suffers <laughs> hour long. Sorry, hours long erection due to blood clots in his penis. Hours long erection due to blood clot in your penis. Yeah. Call more ladies. So, so how is that going to play out, right? How do you get blood clots? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. They're all sticky. It gets all sticky. Yeah. So your blood gets all sticky, right? So how does that happen? You know, so let's say you're sick, right? You're spending, like, your evening in the hospital, and you've been there for a couple weeks, right? And you haven't yet relieved yourself, right? And there's a lot of... Blood and a lot of, lot of bust getting ready. a lot of uh, that's waiting to go, and mm-hmm. you know, and you haven't used your penis in a long time. Hmm. Uh, like the blood starts flowing, too much blood starts flowing yep. through it. It mixes in with uh, the jizz. It gets sticky. Yeah, this is all sounds completely like anatomy. Yeah, this is anatomy. 
can't see any issues with this. Um, I'd feel bad most for like the nurse who comes in. You just like see the tent, because you're wearing one of those like hospital gowns. <laughs> yeah, and you just yeah, you're just there's pitching. no tuck in the band. Yeah, you can't tuck that in. What do you say, like nurse, nurse? I have an erection. Yeah, like nurse, that sounds like one of those erection. things you're not allowed to say to nurses. Yeah, definitely. In not. 2020, uh, that's a headline. It was a cool nurse though. Um, yeah, that is a headline. It's from France. A 62 year old man. Um, not great symptoms, but one of the things that he got was a, an erection that lasted more than four hours, uh, and. Thinking about that, it sounds like not that long, but how long is an average erection, really? It's much under half an hour. Well, I mean, I guess it would depend what you do with it. Yeah, I guess. I mean, four hours seems like an ungodly amount of time. It would be very frustrating, though. Really get in the way. Um, if you, especially if you can't get rid of it, what time is an appropriate time to have a four hour erection? At the cottage. Your employees. Oh God, please let us go. <laughs> now, now, Cam, now this is funny because you mentioned that this baby was, wasn't was able to tuck it in. No time. Uh, I've been noticed that you've been kind of scratching at your waistband for the past uh, three and a half hours. Search dominance, yeah. Um, are you tucking anything right now? Yeah, but I have a belt so you, you can't see it. Can't you know? see it. Yeah. yeah. See the bulge, though. So, yeah, definitely a headline. Um, feel bad for them because I don't. Didn't didn't really read too deep in the article because I didn't want to hear about anyone getting uh, injured. But um, yeah, he uh, he had he had an erection that uh, is, uh, it's some say are still out today. Can you ask a frontline worker to suck you off with the coronavirus <laughs> happening? If with PPE, yes, <laughs> that's how it works. You wear one of the. Uh, those, mouth condoms. Mouth condoms. Yeah. Remember those that uh, <laughs> we gave out Oral as condoms. we were you we given those? out as loot bags Brandy. here, not only to see spot podcast. Oh, we bought some for them. Uh, we, yeah, part of the loot bags, ah, the yes. uh, the mouth condoms. Uh, I've never seen one of those. Uh, it would. Be, I don't want to say it'd be a turn off because it would. It would be safe. Do you mind if I use a dental dam? You'd be like, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'd rather you didn't. Let's just skip this part. <laughs> 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 That's how we're gonna play. I don't really want to play then. You know, <laughs> it's it's ten fifteen p.m. I need to go to bed soon. Are we doing this or what? <laughs> I don't know. If someone oh, dental dam, if someone pulls out a dental dam and they're like, well, what if it's a, what if it's a sleep. hero nurse? And I'm dying? <laughs> and they need to be safe, too. It's <laughs> a good point. They need to be the safest. Uh, it's a hero. It is a hero. A hero. Yeah. <laughs> Front line there, because you're all Front heroes. Line hero. Um, I don't know. If there's just something about, like, that look of, like, pulling on what almost, I'd imagine, looks like saran wrap. I don't know what it looks like. No. I assume it looks like saran wrap. I'm just like, can it you see my It kind of looks like saran wrap. What I remember, there's, like, a hole. Yeah. So it's kind of like there's like a hole that's flexible that could kind of go. Yeah. Oh, it's got the reservoir. It got a, it's got a large like yeah, a. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like, like if the condom was further uh, out, and you out. could just kind of like grab it taut, and there's but there's give, so it like, yeah, will it's... stretch but does not break. If that makes sense, so you can like you know. The dental dam industry. Sounds you can use your nose. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds, sounds like it sounds, in your mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it sounds awful. It sounds awful for everybody involved. Yeah. Like nobody yeah. sounds like, like a way to suffocate somebody. <laughs> <laughs> like a dental dam getting uh, <laughs> shoved down your throat. <laughs> yeah, that, that I think that was the one in health class that like you can do this, and we're all kind of like, nah. But come like, on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, but really it's not you? cool. Yeah, you're like your friends will make fun if you find out about this. Um, I don't know if you had this in your high school, but they had like at the health center a like a bin full of condoms. Do they have it in your school? No. Ones, I would yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't ones. think in my high school. No, but now you're saying like the fishbowl. The fishbowl. It's like come get one whenever you want, and then some shitheads would be like, that. I'm gonna buy get room. thirty of them and just make balloons in the That's yard. Cool. It's like, ah, oh, you're hilarious, man. Like, this is a... I haven't seen this one before. I'm No, I'm, I wouldn't do that. That's weird. Like that means I'd have to put to my mouth on a condom. Exactly. Uh, Cam, I have one for you here. Headliner <laughs> asked nine. Oh <laughs> Number two. Uh, yeah, three people weird. died, well, well and one is permanently but, blind after know, drinking hand sanitizer <laughs> in New Mexico. <laughs> 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 
He'll die. He's her mom. He 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 what a action going on out here in the crowd. That's pretty fucking embarrassing. Do you need anything? It's just like your, your friends come over. It's just like make some fun. Condom chat. This is a little, little, little sex ad we're doing here for the uh, employees here to make sure they stay safe uh, when they're hooking up with each other. Um, so how's the program Wait, you guys are hooking for up with sex each other? ed for our children going to work? <laughs> sex for your children? Sex with your children? Yes. Yeah, sex- ben- yeah. I read that's part of the benefits package. That's oh, not- yeah. The, the sex ed benefits. <laughs> Part of, part of, the the contract. There, there was an amendment in the, uh, <laughs> there was an amendment in, uh, I'm digging a hole. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are going to, we are going to, due, due to recent cutbacks in sexual education program, we yeah. are, we are updating, uh, the, the sexual curriculum, education program, yeah. uh, curriculum, uh, not the present, right. just a little bit sooner than what is being kicked back to in Ontario. So we're stopping like mid two thousands ish. So you were still allowed to say some stuff. You were still not allowed to say other stuff. Uh, we're really hoping your kids can at least get a mid two thousands level of sex education, just like we did. So not great. So Miss Balker, mid, 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 middle, yeah. and then they kind of have to learn for themselves uh, through some embarrassing moments. Yeah, I think that's the only way to learn. Really, <laughs> yeah, that's the only way to learn. You try to put the condom on the wrong way. Pretty classic. You're like, sure <laughs> on that. You're like, yeah, turn on the right way. way. Yeah, it's a classic. Like, should I have done this or should I use a new one? And you know, use a new nine one. months later, oh, yeah. yeah, there you go. That's why. Um, nine months later, your ex girlfriend has a son. Damn. Oh. Do you know how many people from high school that have kids at um, now? Or no, I didn't hang out with any like. Not that people. you knew, but like that you knew. They like they not people, friends of yours or anything. Like people you knew of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So people that you knew of. Yeah. Nothing. What, no. What made them I had a friend who. <laughs> Are they all sketchy though? Um, I guess. he was just a wild man. After and school, one night he some point came to Waterloo school, to my residence. Have right after high school, he's coming to drink. He brought his friend with him. He's like, like "We're gonna go in the fair, car and smoke bowls." So I'm like, after "Okay, after go ahead." No. And then five minutes goes by. Ten minutes goes by. Fifteen minutes goes by. During. We were drinking all night. Mm-hmm. I look outside. Car's gone. Like, what in on earth is going on? This guy takes. His Jeep all the way to Wasaga with his friends. Pissed drunk with his other friend. Um, uh, yeah, I'll take one. Uh, pissed drunk. Sure, goes this to time. his parents, like, oh, or his grandma's oh, cottage or bridge. house, which is in Wasaga, where his dad's Corvette is. Takes the Corvette Mine down the main strip sausages. and crashes it into the ditch. Then what happened to him? Nothing really. I mean, he, then he had a kid. <laughs> yeah, how is the pregnancy coming? Oh, That's yeah, what yeah. I was waiting for. That's what yeah, the story yeah. was oh, about. Then that same year he had a kid. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. So he was just 0 for 2 on the year. Yeah, That's what tough you're year. Okay. And it keeps getting tougher, yeah. Um, Cam, we got to get back to the game. Yeah, yeah. So uh, three people die, one person blinded from uh, drinking hand sanitizer based off of government regulation. Um, <coughs> uh, no, I didn't say that. It was in New Mexico. New Mexico. But, okay, but... Um, that could be an important detail. I think that... When people get desperate for money, they'll try out different things, and that might be one of them. So I'm gonna say yes. You're gonna say that's true? Yes. It's a headline cam, and this is actually uh, this is actually a thing that's happening. So three people have died. One's permanently blind in New Mexico after drinking hand sanitizer uh, and contracting methanol poisoning. Um, so this was reported over several weeks in May. Uh, but it's made. It was made at a Mexican hand sanitizer producing plant, and somehow was poisoned with methanol. Such a thing that you can catch, and you can die from it, or at least go blind. So, if you are getting hand sanitizer, be sure to not purchase anything uh, manufactured by Esco Bike Es Esk Biochem S A, because uh, it has a thing that will kill you. I think that's asinine. You know, I think, like, all chemicals are just, they're, they're not good or bad. It's just how you use them, you know? Like, I'm on 18 grams of magic mushrooms right now. And, and you know, uh, that's, like, is you know? I, you know what? You know what? Employee number four twenty six nine. What's up? You're getting you're getting raised, dude. You are so <laughs> cool. I'm telling you, man. I'm an ideas you guy. You are they so come to cool. Me all the time. I can't believe it took us it took us this long. We're we're you know, we're we're gonna yeah. We're, uh, Bill Bill from the corporate office. He's gonna reach out to you. You're fucking booing up the offices because you are such a cool guy. I really hope he comes back into the fold. 
Okay, um, so yeah, crazy, crazy headline. People should not be trying to drink that. Uh, our, our show is sponsored by uh, hand sanitizer, which is drinkable. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't confuse the two. Don't one's confuse purple, the two. One's mauve. <laughs> Very distinct. Now, we made the mistake, Cam, of yep. making the drinkable sanitizer purple and the undrinkable sanitizer mauve. Uh, I will admit that was a mistake oh, on our part, because especially because we put them in dispensers directly beside each other <laughs> and said uh, free for use. So it was, uh, we really kind of painted ourselves into a corner on that. Headline or astronaut in Ohio, Pornhub plans for a week of only Ebony videos to show sol solidarity with black communities. See, this is what the, this is what should have been happening all along. You know, put the, you know, the, we all know that the algorithms work to show us videos. Mm -hmm. Mess up the algorithm there. Show us the videos you want us to see. It's like, you know, when your Netflix, when Netflix shows pop up way before mm -hmm. other normal shows do. Um, that being said, though, you, you risk the backlash of people upset that they don't have the the variety on the Pornhub page. Yeah, that's what I'm. I was gonna say. I think they should show you a fifty-fifty of things you would like to see and just random shit, hmm. so that you can not, uh, you know, roll into a ball and die. Like, and you can you don't be stuck into a cage. And you can learn something new, mm. maybe. You know, you're like, hey, I didn't know people butt fucked or something. And then you right. can see that. You like dental dams. Here's how to use them. I, 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 that's the first thing I'm going to search when I get home. I'm going to search dental dams uh, nice. action. Or some. maybe some uh, some porn with uh, female condoms. Another. Uh, work again? I, I, think it, I think a female condom was kind of like a slinky that was covered on one end. Interesting. Like it was wide like that because you had to like shove a bunch of it in, and then you can could, use it. And so you, you couldn't shove it in with the penis. I don't think that's how it worked. Interesting. I, I, I mean, I bet the same people who made dental dams made female condoms. Probably they're just trying everything out. They're trying anything out. You know, I mean, they had extra saran wrap lying around, and they weren't sure what to do with it. Uh, is that a headline? Um, no. That would be insane if they did that. That's as that's asinine. That is asinine. But it does beg the question, are there... Well, a question. Are there porn sites that are dedicated to, like, we'll say, racist? Like... Yes. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Black Definitely. Com. Black, okay, <laughs> black.com targeting black people. Pornhub, where does that fall in the equation? Oh, that's just like kind of a That's open. like the YouTube. Black.com is targeting white people who have a fetish to see a large black man fuck you. So that's more wife. for white people, man. <laughs> so is there, like, I, I've black wondered... Cam, Cam, like Cam, Cam, before you're about to finish, <laughs> there's a website out there for everybody who's into everything. I'm just wondering if there's popular ones that I have no idea about white. because I'm in the wrong community. Are there popular fetishes that you don't know about? Probably. Probably yeah. hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Like Damn, back I like in porn when the woman learns to read at the end. <laughs> <laughs> like just when it's when it's all done, she, she picks up like hop figured, on pop. Yeah, she figures out how to read. <laughs> figured... Froggy's lunch, whatever you know, whatever. Yeah, start out with. There you got. Go. She finishes her math equation. There you got. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. You know, that pivot anything you come out, anything you come out better at the end with. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> I'm about porn. What I like to read. That has so, in better I mean? That's where I'm at. Y you know, kink.com does an interview at the beginning, at the end. And usually at the beginning, they're like, yo, I like everything except don't scratch my butthole with a plunger. And they're like, I don't have a plunger. And then at the end, they're like, I had a good time. So, you know, that's improvement. Agreed. Thank you, employee 426 <laughs> Dude, 426.9 does drugs. He has a cool number, and he just fucks all the time, dude. This guy's <laughs> sick. This guy is sick. Uh, final headliner asinine here for you, Cam. Are you ready for it? Yep. A petition with over 60,000 signatures to change the name of a Tom Collins cocktail after past allegations made public. So, who is Tom Collins? Let's start with that. Who the fuck yeah. knows? Who the fuck cares? Is he's Tom, fucking dead, probably. Is Tom Collins alive? No, Who he's is Tom Collins? He's Jamie, where's Jamie? Dead. Jamie, is Tom Collins alive? 
Well, Cam, <laughs> part, 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 Cam, part, part of, part, 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 part of the game <laughs> is, by, before, before, before we employees do start yeah. searching on YouTube, of course, part of the game is, you hear the headline, and you need to make the decision for yourself. Okay, so, prior allegations, I'm going to say Tom Collins was an actor who had a mustache, and I might be thinking of Tom Selleck. You're probably thinking yeah. of Tom Selleck. No, now that I think about it, I am. So, I'm still sticking with that theory. <laughs> Um, that he did that. <laughs> he's a man with a mustache. Yeah, he's a man with a mustache that acted and had a drink because he really looked it on set. And uh, but overall, I think you're just jumping on the cancel culture uh, train and making up this headline because it's a name that has familiar to me, familiarity to me. But I don't actually know who it is. So I'm gonna call Ohio or No Ohio, No Ohio, No Ohio, Asinine. That one's asinine, Cam. I don't think Tom Collins is a person. I think he's just a drink, like a Harvey Wallbanger. It's just a name of a nice. drink that got assigned uh, to a thing. Wow, okay. But you're on the right track. And that's how we play the game. That's how we play the game. Uh, headliner asinine, folks. Hope you liked it. Togamago, we got to sit here around the fireplace uh, with some of our favorite uh, corporate members of course uh employee number 4269 you're hopping up the uh the chain of course employee 32719 or whatever you said the first time uh and all the employees i'm glad we got to make so many changes to our corporate rooms uh add things that employees loved and i think they had a lot of fun i think so uh i think they pretend they have complaints to make us feel like we can change things but overall we know that we're doing a more than what they would ever imagine. I think we're doing an incredible job, and I almost didn't need this retreat to maybe tell me that. Yeah, I don't really need feedback. In was general. this a total yeah. waste of time? I mean, we did meet employee from 4269, so I think that was a win. And Definitely. nothing else, I think we'll just be back in our normal studio next week. Perfect. I think we will be. Folks, remember to rate, review, like, and subscribe to the podcast. The show's everywhere. It's on Apple Podcasts. It's on Spotify. Um, the, of course, as we know, the deal with Joe Rogan fell through, so we won't be Spotify exclusive, but right. we are launching yeah. on Spotacast. Spotacast. Um, uh, Don't I tell my OnlyFans? Do you, are you doing this now? Is this a personal thing? You have something you want to plug? I. That's all I'm going to say. That's all you got to say. Cam's got an OnlyFans, and uh, that's all the time we have this week, folks. Cam, do you have anything you have to say? Never forget that land ho started as a whaling term for any time whalers saw land. Thanks for listening, everybody. Continuing tonight on two seas in a pod. 96.7 on your... Two C's in a pod, 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 two C's just like two C's in a pod, two C's just like two C's in a pod, two C's just like two C's in a pod, two C's in a pod at gmail.com.